Sammy. <laughs> Not very good. A semicolon means and or but. A semicolon means and or but. A semicolon means and or but. A colon means because. Hi everyone, George from Anchor Creative Education here. Let's really quickly talk about semicolons and colons. If you've ever seen these pieces of punctuation before, they're really tricky and a lot of people are confused by them. I'm going to make it so easy for you now in about one minute. A semicolon is a piece of punctuation which looks like this. It has a full stop and underneath it, it has a comma. Show me if you can. So a full stop is in the middle of the line, like, like, a, like the dot on a J, and then a comma underneath it on the line, like a usual comma. That's a semicolon. What does a semicolon do, George? I will tell you, you little turnip. Now, a semicolon joins together two main clauses. George, what's a main clause? I know a main clause is a sentence, which makes sense on its own. So a semicolon is a very powerful piece of punctuation. Not many pieces of punctuation can do this, but it can join together two sentences. A bit like a conjunction joins together two sentences. Like you could say, I like you and... I am looking forward to coming to your house later, full stop. The word and join those main clauses together. Well, a semicolon does exactly the same job as that and. So you get rid of the and, put a semicolon there, and you can join two full sentences together. So a semicolon, our little silly song says, a semicolon means and or but. Now, when you be introduced to semicolons, like we probably are being today, um, a semicolon mainly means and or but. There are some times where you could imagine a semicolon maybe uh, means like the word so or something like that, but often, 99% of the time, a semicolon means and or but. We must use it though, when we're joining two full sentences. We can't say, I like fish, semicolon chips, because chips is not a sentence, darling. Um, I like fish, semicolon, I also adore chips, full stop. So the semicolon has the power to join together two main clauses. But George, a comma, George, a comma can do that, can't it? A comma can join two sentences. <laughs> no way, baby. Now, a comma wants to try and join two sentences together, but it doesn't have the power to. If you say, I like you, comma, I like your dog, one of those sentences must be demoted and must turn into a thing called parenthesis, which means extra information because the comma can't join together two full sentences, but a semicolon, oh, 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 oh muscle a semicolon that can join together two uh, main clauses. Now, a semicolon is used to join together two main clauses when those main clauses are about the same thing, they're about the same topic. So you could say, Tom likes going to the football, semicolon, his brother Joe enjoys ice hockey, full stop. Oh, what were those sentences about? They were both about the brothers and what they like to do. Ah, oh, brilliant. I love apples, semicolon. Josie does not like fruit at all, full stop. So those sentences are about what we like, or maybe fruit. Um, it'd be quite difficult to say, George likes watching Batman films, semicolon, Africa is a very big place with lots of sun, because they weren't about the same thing at all. So semicolon, imagine it means and or what, it joins two full sentences together. So, colons, show me a colon if you can, a full stop in the middle of the line, and a full stop in the usual full stop place. Colon! Yes! A colon is used just like a semicolon, but what a colon actually does is it joins together two main clauses when the second main clause explains the first main clause. So it sort of means because, all right? It sort of means because. Not always, but about 99% of the time, it means because. I like you, colon, you are very kind, full stop. Uh, the holiday was amazing, colon, the food was absolutely delicious, full stop. So the colon lets us know that the second sentence explains the first sentence. My dad does not go on holiday, colon, he doesn't like flying on planes, full stop. So the colon joins together two main clauses when the second main clause explains the first one. So the big thing to remember in our little uh, quick video today is that a semicolon means and or but most of the time. A colon means because, whoa. So what's going to happen is this. 
I'm going to show you some sentences now on the screen and I wonder if you could decide in the middle of these two sentences would you use a semicolon because I've connected two sentences about the same thing or would you use a colon because the second main clause explains the first main clause or oh, see how you do A semicolon means and or but. A semicolon means and or but. A semicolon means and or but. A colon means because. A semicolon means and or but. A semicolon means and or but. A semicolon means and or but. A colon means because. had a good idea there and it wasn't too tricky to imagine if it was a semicolon or a colon. Remember a semicolon joins together two sentences, think of and or but. A colon also joins together two main clauses, two sentences, but the second bit explains the first bit. Cool! Um, I hope you did well uh, and if not, no problem at all, you can go back and have another look. Now I'm going to put on the screen a first main clause then a piece of punctuation. I wonder if you could add your own main clause to complete the sentence. So if it said something like, Joe was angry, colon, well, what does a colon mean? A semicolon means and or but, a colon means because, oh, so colon means because, Joe was angry, colon, he was not picked for the football team, full stop. I wonder if you could add a second main clause. Remember, you don't need a conjunction like and or but or because or so, due to the fact that the, the piece of punctuation does the job of the conjunction, so you don't need a word like and or but or, or, or because. So you're going to see this, the first bit of a sentence, and then I've given you the piece of punctuation. Could you have a think of what would go at the end of it? A semicolon means and or but. A semicolon means and or but. A semicolon means and or but. A colon means because. A semicolon means and or but. Thank you for watching my video today, all about semicolons and colons. Semicolon, show me a semicolon if you can, with a full stop with a colon underneath. No, I'm not doing it, mate. Be brave. Show me a colon. What? Show me a colon. Show me a semicolon. What? Show me a comma. What? Show me a full stop. Ah! Show me a cow. Moo! Sorry, that was very weird then. Um, so a semicolon, a semicolon means and or but mostly. A colon means because, well done if you knew that. The most important thing to remember about this little lesson today is that the semicolons and the colons join full sentences together. Not, I am going shopping, semicolon, Spain. <laughs> because Spain isn't a sentence. I am going shopping, semicolon, I will also have my hair cut, full stop. You are adding two full sentences together. I hope you've listened today and I hope you've tried your best. Hope to see you soon. Bye-bye. A semicolon means and or but. A semicolon means and or but. A semicolon means and or but. A colon means because. A semicolon means and or but. A semicolon means and or but. A semicolon means and or but. A colon means because. You are very greedy, semicolon. I still like eating pizza with you. I like to play football, semicolon. I like to ski. I like to play cricket, semicolon. We lose all the time. Pandas eat dairy leaves, semicolon. They spread it on their toast. A semicolon means and or but. A semicolon means and or but. 
A semicolon means and or but A colon means because A semicolon means and or but A semicolon means and or but A semicolon means and or but A colon means because You are my best friend, colon You are nice My dad avoids cheese, colon So healthy, colon. I run every day. I drive a red bus, colon. I think they are amazing. A semicolon means and or but. A semicolon means and or but. A semicolon means and or but. A colon.